RuneScape 3 in 5 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds... FUCK! Welcome to RuneScape 3. I'll be your guide. My name is Max Mofo. This is RuneScape 3 or RuneScape 2.5 as a lot of people are calling it. Um, first off, the first thing you see straight away when you pretty much get in is this gigantic fucking crater, which is in Lumbridge Castle, pretty much. I guess it hit Lumbridge Castle, or a giant black hole sucking into Lumbridge Castle. The cinematic kind of started, and then I fucked it up by getting out of it to try to record it, and then I don't know where the hell it was. It missed the chef, though. This The chef's, um, where is it, the cook? It, it pretty, like, if I was him, I'd be praying to fucking Zezima. This guy... You know, he's baked a lot of fucking cakes in his time, probably a lot of brownies as well. He's helped a lot of players uh, get with their first quest, even though he has dirty rats in... What the fuck does he have rats in the kitchen for? Okay, he's he's pretty grotesque. Maybe uh, maybe the crater, the meteorite should have fucking whomped him in the head. Um, I guess there's a lot of people kind of following me at the moment. Um, I want to say that the first thing I noticed particularly about the actual uh, gameplay settings uh, and features is that the camera is very, very fluent. If you play this, you will notice that probably immediately. It feels like it's on a much better axis. Um, you, you can zoom in. I don't know if you can zoom in this far before, but you can see my uh, feathery uh, chicken nipples. I am wearing a pink skirt. Uh, don't be offended. Th th don't judge me. That's who I am. And um, these guys are just following me around saying very offensive things. I do apologize if uh, any of what they say offends you. Um, if you walk... Kind of do if, if you walk like this and you've got a lot of guys follow, following you, the armor kind of <laughs> merges into one big fucked up death rate. Look at that. It, it looks like just this bunch of polygons rammed together, all different colors. It's kind of cool. They should make an armor like that. Jagex, get on it. Um, okay, so let's try to find some actual features of this. I should probably do uh, the starting thing. I don't know if uh, these guys will get kicked out and will go into like a, a one player instance of the game. Uh, RuneScape 3 also does not mean Half-Life 3 confirmed, just to point that out. This is the, the, the home telly thing. Let's walk in here. We'll talk to this guy. This uh, looks like a monk in a, in a dress wearing a <laughs> sombrero. Uh, Karamir. Change side. Replay cut. Oh! Replay cutscene. Okay. Here you go guys. That's good. I can actually see what happened now. Enjoy. Okay, so, um, we've got the castle here. So all this stuff. This player's uh, chopping wood. Doing things. Some black holes open. There's a guy praying uh, to, it looks like Shrek had a piss on the ground there. That's me in my chicken suit. I like that. I like it. We've got an elf there. But it actually zooms in and shows what you're wearing. Um, this is RuneScape like never before. This Someone shot a water pistol at him. Okay, Poseidon's here. He's here to um, show Ganondorf what's, what's up. Shot him with the back with it. Alright, here we go. The, the two sides are going to start versing. This is going to be the whole new lore to RuneScape, I guess. It's going to open it. There's my guy. Look look at him. Here's the haircut. Fire and water flying at each other. He's got a pink beard. Okay, I have no idea how that really um, broke the castle. It, it kind of looked like it just pushed over it like some sand. Um, but yeah, there you go. There you have it. Uh, I guess they just started brawling and they shot their water guns and the rest is history. Alright, so we're going to get caught up, I guess, in between a giant battle of good and evil. I don't know if I can pick my side or I guess we're going to find out. That guy really needs to get some face cream. Um, We've got an evil bitch over here with pink eyes, and a, a guy over here that looks kind of like an angel. Those guys are obviously bad. They're just, they're just fighting it out. Let's go get into this, I guess. I am here, mortal. <sighs> okay, we've got a blue bar, we've got a red bar. Yep, I guess we can pick the, the two versing. These are the amount of players, maybe, on each team. I don't think there'd be that many players already. It literally just fucking started. We've got this fat guy here. Wow, he needs to cut. Uh, he needs to start eating salad. The doctor. Dr. Arrow Ac Alec, sir. I guess we're versing Zamorok. I'm going to join this. I wish to join you. And for everyone watching, you better join my team. Don't join that fucking Zamorok scum. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Saradim Divine Tears. I'm ready. Let's get this shit on the road. Let's go do this beginner amateur quest. I guess all my team... Um, all oh, my fans are over there now join, <laughs> joining as well. 
Uh, let's go into the fray, I guess. We've got these warriors. I don't have a weapon. Oh god, I'm really sorry. I, I, I just wore this dress and I was just walking around. I, <laughs> I don't know if I can really do much yet. That's right, I'll pop your shoulder cap out. Let's see who's boss now. Zamrock Foot Soldier. New interface now, guys, as well. Uh, the inventory if, is up here, is your bag of shit. Um, bronze. Oh, okay. I'm wearing my. Shows my um, alliance to this nation. Um, I'm mining Shrek's frozen piss. I have some divine tears. And I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Chopping down. Daily divine tear collection. You receive normal quantities of divine tears. So that leads me to believe that this is going to fucking stay in Lombridge for a long time. Um, I did read now that the actions of players actually change uh, different things in the game. At the moment, you can vote on how the construction of Lumbridge goes on. So I guess mass players voting will, you know, make the actual admins and the mods change what they're going to do. And they'll build Lumbridge in the, the, the eyes or the eyes of how optional it can be of, um, you know, the players or how the players want, want it to go down. So I'm not 100% sure about uh, what this divine tier thing does. What the fuck I'm supposed to do with it? The evil bitch. She kind of looks like someone out of Mortal Kombat. Um. Oh fuck, dude. What the shit? I'm actually gonna die. Holy hell! No! 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 Please! 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 Fuck! 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 Stop! 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 Wow! 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 Wow. Hey, the center of Lumbridge is actually still here. I was on the other side of the castle. Okay, that makes everything way better. I am much happier now. This is kind of looking like... Okay, I feel pleasant. This is normal RuneScape again. Wow, they upgraded the water. Look at those ducks. I almost died. Maybe you can't die. Maybe that was the whole part of things. This interface looks very interesting too. Shape the world! You're supposed to be able to shape the world. The events in the six days give you, the player, the ability to shape the future of the game. Join the Battle of Lumbridge, blah, blah, blah. So, um, that's what's happening now. That's what's happening at the start. Uh, in the future, I guess, it's going to be molded and shit. Um, there's all, we've got all these tabs up here now. You can actually look at the high score list uh, from actually inside the game, which is, that's interesting. It's kind of good. Like uh, any advanced player knows on RuneScape 3 as well, cabbages, um are pretty much the rarest item at the moment so if, if you want to invest in stock just pick up and sell a bunch of cabbages on the GE also uh, Goblin Chainmail is also a good one to go by but guys apart from that I, RuneScape 3 is pretty much RuneScape 2 i.e. standard RuneScape with you know more frequent storyline it's got a it's it can advance much better it's got a, a lot more stuff I can't really judge it completely but pretty much everything is still exactly the same a lot of people were hoping for something uh, different like a whole new map and other stuff like that but I guess you know they've put so much into it they make a lot of money out of RuneScape they're not gonna really invest in that they're gonna continuously you know just bring up the next level of shit we've got sheep here that one's shaven that's disgusting naked sheep is not where it's at okay so this is cool. You can see if you're a good or a bad player, I guess. The, uh, both of us have this symbol. This guy hasn't done anything, so I guess he's neutral. He hasn't started the thing. Let's see if they advanced on the stray dog. No, nope, he's still <laughs> moonwalks. You know what they should add? They should add um, a weed smoking skill. And uh, can we, like... Snoop Dogg can be the mentor, and you can get to level 99, you get like, uh, you, you can just have like some dreadlocks, and you can unlock new bongs, and uh, a members only skill obviously. Players who have like high fire making skills can, um, you know, light the joints and sell them for more money to players with high fucking weed skill. There is many reasons why I should be on the Jagex fucking stuff. Honestly, you guys, you guys should push me forward. You should say, you should actually, you know, I wish they had a support line. If they had a support line, I would be making so many Jagex related uh, RuneScape complaint prank calls. It would just be off the rails. Where the fuck is the Grand Exchange? I can't even find what I'm doing. The minimap looks like shit. Oh, okay. I know why I was confused because the north arrow actually is red now. So I had it flipped like this. 
thinking the white arrow was north and I was going back to fucking front. Um, you know, the weird thing I was thinking about this video is the fact that last time I made a RuneScape video, I, it was me playing RuneScape again for the first time in ages and just looking at all the new features. And the next video I made, which is this one, is me looking at RuneScape 3 and looking at all the features and it's not a real video again. Like, I want to make a video about, um, you know, uh, I don't know, trolling, doing some stupid shit or something specific. Uh, you know, doing quests or something, but again, it's me looking at all the new features of the new addition to RuneScape. That guy's a good guy as well, I guess. Um, so let's just go, we're going to go check out the Grand Exchange, going to see um, what people think. Let's, okay, I know what we'll do. We're going to ask people what they think about the new RuneScape. Just see what uh, Zerio thinks. Come on, Black Gandalf, speak your word. Give me a confusing as fuck. There you guys. Um, you have it right there, straight from the, the mouth of um, Zuriel 1. Give me one word that describes RuneScape 3. Anus. There you go, guys. Anus. Clate. 2013 on RuneScape 3. Also, if you guys uh, do want to play RuneScape with me or any other games, if I'm um, going to play a game or something, sometimes I do post on my Facebook uh, or Twitter, which you can get below or, you know, in the description. Or, you know, you can just fucking be on or something when I'm on and I'll... You know, I'll hang out with you guys, I'll walk around, you guys can, you know, walk around hollering and getting a video, I guess. Um, let's talk to this orange dude over here. Okay, guys, Clay is giving me 50 mil right here. This is RuneScape 3. I'm going to decline, uh, just because I find that rude. No thanks, Clay. Thanks, but it's okay, big boy. Don't need your charity, Clay, it's okay. If you guys want to give me fucking RuneScape pixel gold, I guess that's up to you, but at the moment, I'm not going to take it. Okay, runes one word for me, RuneScape 3, glitches. Honestly, fix your shitty bugs, Jagex. I think the best kind of video I could make would be uh, probably a RuneScape uh, potato picking tutorial. So I'm just going to show you guys right now. If you open up your inventory, it's a, kind of a good way to see where the potatoes